What's up guys, Ollie Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 22 of my Timberwolves Rebuild series on my channel. Now, needless to say, I'm very happy to be back on this YouTube channel and back posting videos again. Now, I had to take a four-day break, and I'll discuss the reasoning behind me doing so very soon as we actually hop into the gameplay and everything. Uh, right there, you see me show you guys the standings, and you see we're on a tear. We broke Jordan's Bulls record for the best record ever, and we even broke Magic's Lakers record for the best winning streak in history. Total tear, we are actually the best team in history, of course, but all this best team talk has to be verified by our, our work in the playoffs. Today, we'll be taking on the Spurs, our last regular season game, and let's see how this goes. Hello, everybody, and welcome to 2K Sports. Along with Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. Our coverage tonight from Target Center, as the Minnesota Timberwolves will be playing against the San Antonio Spurs. You take a look at the Spurs. Six wins in their last 10 games. They'd like to play even better. Tonight, a chance to add to their win total. Regular season winding down, the playoffs approaching for some teams, at least. What's the difference in a locker room between a team that knows it's going to the playoffs and another that's almost on vacation? Well, no question, the playoffs are where you want to be, Arnie. The teams on the outside looking in, it could be demoralizing. You have to find ways to stay motivated and embrace the spoiler role. Only missed the playoffs twice, but it never felt right. That's not the same as optimism and excitement. And you know the thing about this job, we know we're in the playoffs. Every day, 40 days and 40 nights, oh, baby. Oh, you got that right. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. All right, guys, you know what it is. We have to have our normal 2K Sports pregame show. You got to love that commentary by our boys, Shaq and Ernie, just doing their job, doing work out there, uh, making sure to keep things interesting before each tip-off. Of course, so today, uh, of course, like I said, we're taking on the San Antonio Spurs, led without Tim Duncan. Now, that man has retired maybe a year ago, I would I would think, uh, considering he wasn't that old. But, yeah, he retired about a year ago, so the Spurs team has to fare without him. You see, they have Chris Kamen and some different guys, so their team is a little bit different. Very different, actually, if you want to think of it in terms as to how the Spurs have been the past 20 years. There for run for once not running Tim Duncan in the starting lineup because, of course, he has retired. And we're going to start off strong and dominate throwing an oop up to Blake Griffin. I figured if Tim Duncan's not there, we might as well utilize that power forward position nice and early by throwing it over to our boy Blake Griffin, showing why it is always important to have a, a dominant power forward, hopefully making the Spurs realize how important it was for them to have Tim Duncan for all those years. And as you can see, now that Tim Duncan is gone, the Spurs just aren't the team that they were, as they're now about fourth or fifth in the West. Now, you can, of course, make that case in real life. As in real life, the Spurs are only about sixth in the West, but... Needless to say, uh, we all know the Spurs are going to turn up when playoff time comes because they really don't care if they have home field, uh, uh, you know, home court advantage or they have to play away. The Spurs are just such a dominant team. It does not matter where they play. They're going to beat you at your home court if they have to. And if you go to their home court, of course, they're just going to show you up and do their own type of basketball and, of course, play their own game and more than likely beat you. So right here, we're trying to get a feel for how the Spurs play, how the Spurs function. Like, like I said... When you look at that standings, the Spurs are very likely a team we may have to play as this playoff shapes up. So I really want to get an idea as how their team plays. And I kind of just put myself in a situation where I understand, you know, just kind of have an idea as to what to expect if we ever do have to play them in the playoffs. Because, well, of course, this the Spurs team has uh, changed a lot since their recent loss of Tim Duncan. And so I think their team more than likely will play very different than they do in real life. And I really just want to see how Tony Parker and Kawhi Leonard and all those guys took over, and they, they did a fairly good job, I'm not going to lie. Kawhi Leonard and Tony Parker are pretty good uh, without their assistance of Tim Duncan, since they, you know, they're kind of running the show now, and they're doing a pretty good job, I'm not even going to lie. You see right now they're keeping it within six points, and considering that we're on a 35-game winning streak, the fact that they're keeping it within six points is embarrassing, but what's more embarrassing is that Chris Humphrey's going to get a chase down block. Tony Parker, get out of here. You just got a chase down blocked by Chris Humphreys. We're going to go with this oop. With J.J. Wilcox, you see this crowd that we got. Our bench is getting pumped. You see Blake Griffin throwing his fists up in the air. Everybody getting excited. You know you threw down a sick dunk when you can make Blake Griffin get excited. That's something to be proud of. So, a great job by our guys. A chase down block leading to an alley-oop slam. That's one of the best plays that we've definitely had all year. And it really just shows how great defense leads to great offense. That's something I really enjoy saying. Because it's a statement I really find true. Defense is such an important uh, component when you want to have a good offensive drive. And right there, that was a very, very good situation where that was being, you know, being shown. So right there you see, we're now up by 14. So that spark plug 
or that, uh, well, I don't know why I said spark plug, but a spark was definitely ignited under us um, by us getting that nice little chase down block and that, that alley, uh, I mean, that alley-oop. So that definitely helped. And something I just noticed, I think I just played the same clip twice. I don't even know how that happened. I think the same clip just got played twice. So uh, I'm not going to edit that out because it's just weird. But, you know, uh, that's a little bit interesting. But either way, you see we're still up by uh, 14. But change that down to 11 as uh, they're going to hit a three right there. And hit another three right here. So, you know, the Spurs team really is able to do whatever they have to do to come back in this game. Because uh, the Spurs team is just uh, filled with winners. Sometimes the most, I mean, that's the most important thing. You really just need to have those players that want to win. And they really got to have that drive. That's the type of players that I want to have on my team. And J.J. Wilcox, one of those players, he's going to drive down, hit that three ball at the buzzer to end halftime. Now, keeping that momentum going into the second half. Beautiful play by J.J. Wilcox. He's not even a shooter, which is the most incredible part. This guy has really developed his long-range game and has really turned into a type of player that can actually become dominant from the perimeter shooting. And uh, we've had him for about two years now. With our constant development and his shooting, he has definitely become much better in that aspect of his game. And you guys can probably tell that just by that clip right there. And, of course, he has the athleticism as well. As he's going to run down the score, nobody's even going to get close to catching up with him. Especially not Chris Kamen. Look at this guy. Chris Kamen's running as fast as he can. He's not even close. And so J.J. Wilcox is going to throw that down with ease. So beautiful play by him right there. But, of course, the Spurs are actually coming back into contention. We're only up by 7 right now. So that's something we have to be concerned about. J.J. Wilcox is, of course, going off this game when you're paying close attention to it. Uh, I haven't really been using Wilcox at all this season, so I really enjoyed this game because for once I was utilizing Wilcox and what he was really just talented at, and that's driving to the basket. If I really am focused on trying to get Wilcox the ball, he can be a very dominant scorer for me, but you really have to be patient with the type of guy who's good at driving to the basket because you really have to be persistent in trying to get looks at driving to the basket because the computer's not going to let you just drive right by him, so you really do have to create opportunities to get to the basket. And with J.J. Wilcox... And a guy like J.J. McGee kind of had that J.J. connection. Uh, so you can get a nice little screen from McGee. He's just a big, strong guy. So he was able to kind of break people down on that screen. And Wilcox, of course, was able to break around it and get nice little layups to go. So great. I mean, you utilize that great in this game. And I only played one playoff game. Uh, but McGee, I mean, Wilcox did very well in that game as well. And that game will most likely be posted either tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm trying to get back into a vibe where I post every day. But I've been so busy recently. Uh, due to my sports and due to a tournament, that's why I haven't been able to post the past few days. I've just been very, very busy with sports. And I'm sure you guys understand, for those of you who play school sports or even understand how school sports function, uh, I'm just busy all the time. I only get home at like 8 o'clock every single day. And it makes it very difficult for me to try to find time to just kind of uh, do my own thing, if you guys kind of understand my situation. But I'm trying to get back into this. You know, I love doing this, so I'm going to keep trying to do what I do. If you guys enjoyed, please click that like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and want you to make more interesting in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.